welcome to my channel Surprise Comics. I'm coming back with you to do a little bit of a different um, video today. Um, a lot of you guys have done in the past tours of your comic book room. I have a comic book room, but it's nowhere near where I'd be proud to show. But what I do have is a nursery that is Batman and superhero themed. And so um, I thought I'd show you guys what we have in here. Um, just, you know, for those who are interested in haven't have babies and want to do different things like that. My son's turning just turned two, so we're about to convert this more from a nursery to a little boy's room. So I thought I'd record this for posterity and give you guys a little tour. This is his um, quilt right here. You know, it's just Batman fabric put together, not nicely quilted. On the rack, we have some pops at the top. We got our Harley Quinn, Batman, and Robin. We got a Batman piggy bank up here. And a, another set, we got Robin from the Teen Titans Go series. Old school Batman and Robin, or Batman and Joker up there as well. I take a step back, show you the whole wall. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of a changing table down here. We went ahead and painted some of our old baby furniture black. And this is actually a TV stand that we took the doors off of and turned into a changing table to go with it. Over here we got the crib, we got Batman bedding. My son's name is Grayson. And so we got a sign up form when the bat signal saying Grayson. Now my wife is the one that actually came up with this name and she didn't even really know that that was the last name of the first Robin. So of course, when she suggested, I said, yeah, let's do that. So that's his name. It looks really cool with that name in there with the Batman logo considering that he once was Batman. We got our crib down here. We painted this black. He has his Ninja Turtles blanket that he always uses. Even it has a Batman pillow down there. Of course, we never had those in there when he was a newborn, but he's you know two years old now, so he definitely uses that. We got a, you know, these aren't fat heads. These are kind of knockoff fat heads. We got them, you know, shipped to us on eBay from some guy overseas who's. So there's, I guess they're bootleg ones, but we really couldn't find a fat head that we really like to put up in here. So we went ahead and got that one over his crib. We also have this one right here. This is a sticker of a city with the bat signal flashing out of it. Uh, which is a skyline. You know, we did some searching on Etsy and stuff and found one we liked and we got that and put that up. We picked these um, wall colorings kind of in the Batman mold, the navy on the bottom and the gray on the top. Um, here's his little couch he has. So, you know, we can get these little couches over at Ikea pretty cheap. And so we picked that up. We just threw a $15 plush um, little throw over the top to kind of decorate it up a little bit to fit into the room with the Batman logo. Here's his little table. You know, we have a little rocker over here too. We got ourselves some plushes, including a Batman and Robin plush. And this table is decoupaged. It's basically a way where we cut up a comic book. You know, we just kind of put it all over the place. This is from Batman Little Gotham. It was a fun little project. It came out to be a lot harder than we thought it was when we started. So we kind of quit there. We haven't really done any more of that since then. But, you know, you can find tutorials and stuff on YouTube and things like that on how to do that if you want to make something like that. This end of the wall, we have another Batman wall decal. This is the Batman. And the Robin came in the, came the same it's from the same guy. It's from the Batman um, animated series. Actually, I've never really even seen that animated animated show. So, um, you know, eventually I want to get it and check it out. Um, we also have a picture of his sisters. The year before he was born, the one as Batgirl and Robin. And so there's their pictures right there. We won't focus on those for too long. Um, here's his windows in his room. Um, I forget what they call that board. We built that ourselves and, you know, just stapled some fabric because the same fabric he has on his quilt. We got the yellow bat signal colored curtains to go with it. They're blackout curtains so it gets real nice and dark in here when he's taking his naps. Um, we have a table down here. This is just a train table and you know trains are okay and stuff but Batman's much better so we got rid of all the train stuff that goes on it and we got the Imaginix Batman set. And so we have the Joker's hideout, and Batcave, Gotham City Prison. And a bunch of different, you know, Mantis vehicle. We got the invisible jet. And, you know, it's kind of hard to say it's in the invisible jet when you can see it right there. And we got some penguin vehicles and stuff. Of course, my son's favorite 
right there on top of the back copter. He'll spin that around for hours a day. Um, here we have this thing. This is really cool um, cross stitch pattern that his aunt made for him before he was born. We can see it's the ABCs. So we got Aquaman, Batman, Captain America, Daredevil, Electro Flash. And it goes all the way through the alphabet. You know, Green Lantern for L, Martian Manhunter for M, Oracle for O, Quicksilver. And, you know, Ultra Boy was one of the more confusing ones, probably the least popular. We even got Professor Xavier for the X, so that worked out well. And this was made for him by his aunt. She made it up and framed it. Really cool. Spent hours, she spent hours working on that, so we really appreciate that. Little rocking horse, Bullseye from Toy Story down there. Uh, we have the shelf over here. We have some more pops. We got some Ninja Turtle pops. We got April O'Neil, Donatello, and Michelangelo in the, um, you know, the turtle wagon. Up here we have some more toys. You know, we got some Transformer kit, toddler toys, some accessories and stuff that go with it. We got more Imagine X going on. So you know, part of these were toys for him to play with, and part of them were kind of decorations for the room to kind of tie in all that superhero stuff. And we got more Ninja Turtle stuff. We even have some Marvel stuff, even though this is mostly a DC-centric house. You know, Mickey Mouse. You know, we have Elmo hiding down here and where he belongs. Kind of creeps me out, actually. We got a big, tall Ninja Turtle. We got Lightning McQueen. We have old-school Ninja Turtle. You know, this is a vintage from the early 90s toy. Black dresser to go with the black furniture in here. You know, we got a little TV. This came in real handy when we were feeding him when he was an infant. You know, I watched almost the entire Batman animated series while I was feeding him because he ate so slow. Um, Utah Jazz fans in this house, so even though we live in Arizona, we still support the Jazz. Put that up in here. Here we have, um, you know, Grayson number one. This came out a few months after he was born. I was able to take it to a show recently. I got it signed by Tim Seeley. And he wrote it out to Grace. I plan on as I go to Comic Cons over the next couple years. Hopefully, I can chase down everyone who worked on this book and get them to sign it, um, personalized to him. That would be kind of cool for him to have when he gets a little older. And we got some more decals. We have my his sister has a big Toy Story mural outside of her room, and these were just like little ones that came with it. I think that's pretty much any, everything. Only other thing I can think of, we have this rug down here, um, the Justice League rug we got at Target with the Superman, Green Lantern, Batman, and Flash logos. So that's his room. Hope you like this little tour. Maybe someday if I ever get my act together and get my comic book room put together nicely, and it's actually more of a room. It's the it's the garage outside, and you know it's actually what i do have done on it's pretty awesome but i don't want to show it until it's complete and so maybe you'll get a tour of my room too but this is my son's room grayson um who's not going to have much of a choice to be but a big batman fan thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and everyone had a good time